What makes socially anxious people anxious varies a lot from person to person. Everyone is a little different. The onion analogy is useful here. An onion, O-N-I-O-N, is a vegetable. And if you imagine cutting an onion in half, you can see all the layers inside. That's L-A-Y-E-R-S. Well, people have social layers like the layers of an onion. Most people have friends and family at the core. People they're generally comfortable with. Most people with social anxiety feel okay with this inner circle. But as we move to the outer layers of the onion, where you know people less well and arrive at complete strangers, generally people's anxiety here is much greater. Can you relate to that? That's the more usual version of social anxiety. But for some people, even the friends and family are anxiety provoking. Sometimes people fear that the longer they spend with close friends and family, the more the likelihood is that they'll be discovered to be boring or strange, or even that their social anxiety might be revealed. So they minimise the time that they spend, even with close people, even with the inner circle. And that tends to mean that they lack practice at social interactions and using social skills too. Even children who grew up to be confident adults back then had many situations that made them socially anxious. If you're five years old, that's quite normal. But for most people, as you grow up, as you get older, you're exposed to increasingly more challenging situations. You get used to them. You learn to tackle them. When people first start work, they can be anxious about answering the phone or giving a presentation to their colleagues. But if you have to do this every day and every week, you get used to it. You find ways of being able to do it. With that repetition, anxiety lessens until it just isn't there anymore. That's the opposite of avoiding. That's practicing. And just like with your English language practice, practice makes it better. So practicing social situations makes it better. And if you avoid, you rob yourself of the opportunity to do this. Another important technique here, take baby steps. Make a list of social situations that trigger you, that you feel anxious in. Scoring them 1 to 10, 10 being the most difficult. And then start with the least anxiety provoking situations. Think of it like learning to swim. You start off in the shallow end of the swimming pool and gradually move into deeper water as you grow your confidence. So imagine a social situation that makes you extremely anxious, the most anxious. That will be your number 10. You may have a number of them. It could be going to a wedding where you know only the couple. It could be giving a presentation to 100 people. 